Hello, welcome to another UK EDC video review. Apologies for not posting recently, I've been on a holiday and had a lot of work on, so uh, unfortunately not been able to do so. But I'm going to give you a bit of a double whammy today um, on this one and this one. Uh, I was fortunate enough to pop into Pull the Trigger in Plymouth, run by Damien, and he gave me these two items to review, which was rather nice of him. I have to return them, so um, I'm not going to take them out of the field and abuse them, so that's some more of a tabletop review. So, the first item, put that to one side for now. This is a Benchmaid, um, not very big in the UK, but in the US are up there with Spylicos. Um, this is a nice little, well, well-constructed sheath actually. It's got a triple, triple belt in there as well. So it's machined and not handmade, but it's pretty good quality with a snap on it. This is a Benchmaid Snoozy. This is a discontinued model, uh, made with D2 steel, as indicated up there, so it's rock solid, rock hard. Focus better. There you go. Uh, this is quite a nice smallish kind of little sheath knife, which you can carry in your backpack or on your belt for a bit of light work. One thing I found strange about this, since I pick it up, it goes to the back of my hand. Um, give that away. Which is quite good actually. Normally you find that knives kind of sent around the side, but that's um, that's quite nice actually. Nice liners on there, full tank construction. It's about three and a half inches on the blade. A bunch of made logo there. Great little knife, actually. I, I actually really like this one. I'm sure I've got to give this one back to be truthful. Um, bit of jimping on the top, so if you want to do some fine work, you can do. You could also hold it like that if you needed to do some really, really fine work, uh, carving or making a fireboard or something like that. Um, nice scales, nice grippy wood. This is a discontinued model. Um, you'd be lucky to find one of these. If you do, um, when they're in retail, they're on about $125 to $140. So, unfortunately, it doesn't equate to the um, uh, exchange rate. Uh, that would probably what you're paying pounds in this country because of import duties, etc., which we won't go into. But anyway, that's the first one. Um, nice little knife to keep in your backpack. This one is a Galvco make. Um, this is his, his mark here, a little friction folder. You see that GV there? It's made by Michael, M I C H A L, Gavik, who creates these knives. Now, what he does is he makes what he wants and sells them online through a like an online knife shop, which again I'll supply you links for. As you can see, this is made from um, stabilized maple burl with G10 orange liners, and it's a friction folder. For those of you not familiar with friction folders, what they do is this little piece on the end. When you open it up, it kind of slots into the recess on the back. So it's it's not a lock knife, it's a friction knife. This is, I believe, a UK legal EDC because it's not a locking knife, but the friction holds it in place. Okay, so it's kind of, when you've got hold of it, it ain't going to go anywhere. But the friction actually holds it in place because it stops on there. Again, this is a razor sharp little knife, lovely little walnut hammer. Quite a small knife, as you can see, it fits into my. I've only got medium sized hands, I've not got big builder's hands or anything like that. But it fits in there quite nice. It's an ideal for your, again, for your backpack or your pocket. Now, one thing I cannot understand is I don't like friction folders because I'd rather carry that than that. I know it gives you a bit more added security if you're performing cutting tasks by having that friction lock on it. Sorry, it's not a lock, friction retention device, should we call it? But I just think that this is a bit too much, personally. Now, this is my EDC carry at the moment. This is my little um, CRKT Leon, Leon Bar. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, Leon Bar. These you can pick up dirt cheap. These are going for 15 quid at a well known retail outlet. I'm not going to plug them because they won't give me anything to review. So I can put that in my pocket. Or I can put that in my pocket, which takes up the most space. Now, if that was that, there'd be no difference in it, and I might carry that. Anyway, that's just a bit of a thing about my personal preference. But again, it's a well made blade. This guy makes what he wants and sells it online. Kudos to him. He doesn't do custom work, he does what he down well wants and sells it, and then you buy it. <laughs> and some of the stuff he makes is pretty amazing. Not just friction folders, folders and fixed blades as well. Right, again, I'll link to him. Uh, there's no point in linking to Benchmade. You can find it, any of their gear anywhere. Um, the famous ones are the Grip and the Mini Grip, Griptalian, that is. Um, people seem to rave about them. I have actually borrowed a Griptalian in the past. Nice, nice knife. Again, bit spendy. This is a lot of money, but it's a nice knife. This one, I don't know how much this went for, to be truthful. Um, it's about three and a half, four years old. 
but a, a nice little fold in friction life of the eye. Anyway, I'm going to cut short now. Um, I'll be back with some more reviews. I'm trying to move away from knife reviews. All I seem to be doing at the moment is knife reviews. I'm, I am a bit of a knife person, but I just want to kind of get back onto the EDC and the bushcraft stuff a bit more, even though, of course, these are EDC and bushcraft. So there you go. That concludes my presentation on the two knives, the Benchmade Snoddy and the Gavco Friction Folder. Um, as usual, please like and share this post. Please subscribe to my video channel. I will also provide links to all my other channels, my Facebook page, my blog page, etc. Thank you very much for watching, and I will return soon. I promise not to keep you waiting so long this time. I uh, hope you like this review. Take care and have a good day wherever you are. Thank you.